Hey guys, Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my Easy Cooking channel tonight. Tonight I'm back to making another wonderful pasta dish. And I know a lot of you are thinking, oh boy, here we go again. Another pasta dish, but hey, people like my pasta dishes and I get requests for them all the time. And I like to make them a little bit unique. So tonight I'm going to be making a rather unique pasta dish for you. I'm going to be making something called pasta con l'escargot. That's right. Pasta with snails. Mm -hmm. How many of you guys like to eat snails out there? I'm talking about escargot snails, French snails. Escargot are the land snails that are cooked and eaten in French cuisine and in the cuisine of other countries. And the word escargot is the word for snail in French. Okay? The word cargol or caragol is the word for snail in Spanish or in Catalan as well. Now there are some standard species of snails used in French cooking. The one that is most prominent is called Helix pomadia. Okay, this is a little more scientific than we need to be, but that's okay. There are others called Helix aspersia, or the petite gris, or even Helix leucorum. Okay, but that's more science we really don't need to know about. It's just, I thought it was a little bit interesting, okay. Usually in French cooking, before the snail can be applied to a starter or even a main, the French have to first harvest the snails, and then they have to put them through a process called purging. And purging means the starving or the fasting of the snail, and then the feeding of the snail of something wholesome that will pass through its digestive tract to clean out all the undesirable matter in the snail's digestive system and that usually the food that usually gets fed to the snails would be something like cereals or cornmeal after the snail has been starved so it's ravenous and that cornmeal or cereal will pass right through the digestive tract and clean out all the toxins so that the French can then kill the snail, remove and cook the snail and then replace the snail back into the shell to be preserved usually as a starter a serving is between 6 and 12 snails and snails are used in all other kinds of countries that most people really aren't even aware of. I mean there are land snails, sea snails and freshwater snails used in countries like Algeria, Spain, the Philippines, Vietnam, Indonesia, Cambodia, Laos, okay, Morocco, Sicily, Portugal and Greece, okay. All these countries use snails and no matter where snails are found, and no matter where snails are served, they are always considered a delicacy, okay? So without any further ado, let's get going, and let's make some pasta con la escargot. All right, the first order of business is to cook the pasta, okay? I'm using a rather thin spaghetti, not quite a spaghettini. I'm using spaghetti number eight. It's a little bit on the thin side, and I'm just going to get that into the water. There we go. And a nice coil. And I'm going to cook this to al dente. Okay. I, this is about five tablespoons of olive oil. And this is one half of a medium red onion, finely diced, that I am going to cook up on medium high. I just want them soft. I don't want them browning. Okay. This is going to take a couple, two, three minutes. I just want them softened up. I don't want them browning up. All right, the onions have softened up. They're not browning. We just want to infuse the oil with the taste, okay? In, I'm going to put about half a pound of mushrooms. These are sliced baby portobellos, okay? I'm just going to mix these up in it, okay? Get them wet. If the mushrooms happen to soak up most of the oil, I will add just a little bit of chicken stock to make up the difference because mushrooms are like sponges. They certainly are like sponges. Yeah. There we go. My toss. And I'm going to cook this for about uh, two or three more minutes. Okay, the mushrooms have cooked through. I've reduced the heat to medium. You can use six flat anchovies from a tin, okay, for this sauce. But what I'm going to do for convenience is I'm going to use anchovy paste, the equivalent of about six anchovies. Don't worry about the fishiness because the end product of this dish, you will not notice it. It will not be anchovy-y. 
tasting. Okay? So don't worry. People going, ooh, snail, ooh, anchovy. Believe me, this is a classic sauce. Okay? This is French meeting Italian cooking right in the middle. And it's going to be delicious. So, all right. Now, we're going to add finely minced garlic. Okay? And we're going to stir this around. We are trying to infuse flavors into this oil. Because to tell you the truth, snails taste fantastic, but they smell a little bit funny. Now, I've rinsed mine. I'll be using canned, and, uh, canned escargot from France. They're in a brine, and that's perfectly fine, because it's very hard to find live snails in most places. The canned ones work just, just fine. Mm. I can smell the garlic infusing in there already. I'm going to let the garlic soften, and we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, guys. The garlic is softened, and I'm adding two tablespoons of lime juice. Now, you can use lemon, but I've made this recipe before, and I actually prefer the taste and the tang of lime. Okay, I'm going to reduce the heat down to medium. Okay, and let that lime blend with the mushroom and the garlic. Okay. Then add a touch of black pepper. All right, my pasta is almost done. To this sauce, now I'm going to add about a tablespoon of dried crushed oregano bulbs, a little more of the Italian influence, and no, I will not be adding white wine to this sauce, okay? It's not that kind of sauce. I will be adding just a little bit of a nice thick organic chicken stock. to help blend these flavors. There we go. I've reduced the heat to low just to get it to a simmer for the rest of the steps necessary. Okay. I'm going to have to strain the pasta right now and put it back in its bowl, but before I do that, I'm also going to add about one tablespoon of dried basil. This recipe wasn't necessary to have fresh Dried works just fine. Most of us keep dried in our cupboards. We don't always go out and get fresh. And if you look at this sauce thickening up, mm, it's going to be delicious. I'm going to add just a little bit more of that organic chicken stock. And I'm going to mix it around at the simmer. I'm going to strain the pasta. Okay. And then put a cover on it to finish this sauce. Oh, just look at this sauce. And we're not even done yet. Okay. The sauce is simmering on medium. Okay. And if you look at the sauce, this looks like any typical Italian or French style sauce that you could just toss the snails in and serve on a plate as a starter. Okay. But we're going to do this as a pasta dish. Now, the mushrooms did soak up most of the rest of the oil, so I did put the rest of the one cup of organic chicken stock into this. And now I'm going to add a thickener. I'm going to be adding some sour cream. About four, maybe even five tablespoons of sour cream. Who doesn't love sour cream? Now I got this on the simmer, and I'm going to blend this in. Okay. This is going to take a minute or so to blend in and then start to thicken the sauce again. Okay. All right, here comes the moment of truth. The sauce is thickened with the sour cream, okay? And I'm going to be adding my snails now, okay? This is two cans of French escargot. They were in brine. I drained them and I washed them thoroughly, okay? Any grit, any shell, you should wash them thoroughly, okay? Now, I'm going to let them sit in this sauce, okay? Even though they're already cooked, they're very tender, and they're not going to stiffen up. The reason I'm going to let them sit in this sauce as the sauce comes back to a simmer is to infuse all the flavors of the sauce so that people don't say to themselves, God, these snails smell, because they do have a strange little odor. 
that most people are not used to. But believe me, folks, they're delicious. This is a delicacy. Uh, this is something for the palate to experience at least once this way or any other way you can find them. So I'm going to let these sit in here and simmer and soak up some of the flavor. And then we're going to move on to the last step. The sauce has come up to a bare simmer and I have two more flavor layers for it, okay? Here is just a little bit of my favorite cheese, gorgonzola, okay? This is going to add another level of creaminess to this sauce, okay? And it'll help to thicken it. There are many layers of flavor in this sauce, and I promise if you make it the way I'm making it here, you'll be able to the taste every last one you notice I'm not putting pepperoncino this sauce is not meant to have heat okay not like I usually like to do okay the sauce isn't meant to have pepperoncino okay this is supposed to be savory and delicious okay so the gorgonzola is melting in there okay and it's gonna come back up to a simmer because each time you put something cool in there it takes the temperature down Ah, oh, god I should have been a saucier I have so much fun making sauces, it's ridiculous. A sauce like this would go good on anything. Meat, chicken, fish, snails. Mm -mm -mm. Just look at it. Nice and creamy, a lot of layers, a lot of contrast. And I'm gonna bring it back up. Okay. And we're gonna add some walnuts. That is the last of the layers. This is gonna add some crunch, okay. Now you can either toast these walnuts or add them in as is, okay? I added them in as is this time. I could have toasted them, okay? But I wanted the natural crunch or the natural flavor of the walnut. So they've been added as is. I'm gonna bring this back up to a simmer and then I'm gonna plate up. All right, guys. So there it is, a lovely plate of pasta con escargot. One final thing I do like to do is I do like to add some slivered cheese. This is Parmesan, Asiago, and Romano cheeses. Okay, I just like to put some slivers on and around. Okay, another layer of flavor. Okay, yes, cheese does go good with snails. Okay, and yes, cheese does go good with certain kinds of seafood. So I just get those slivers around. You know, I'm not the best at plating. Um, I'm the rustic type. My plating technique is definitely not fine dining. Okay, but there it is. Okay, and if you wanted to carry it a step further, it's not necessary. Okay, some capers, some chopped Kalamata olives. Okay, a little of both. Okay, it's a lot of food. It's a lot of flavor, but I promise, I promise, this is delicious. Okay, there it goes. So there you have it. There you have it. Pasta con la escargot. The meeting of French and Italian cuisine. I want to thank you for stopping by. I hope you make this recipe. I know you will enjoy it, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. So there you have it guys, pasta with snails. Pasta con l'escargot, okay? The meeting of Italian food and the meeting of French food. It's delicious, I hope you try it. I wanna thank you for stopping by and I'll see you on the next video. And hey, don't forget to check out Mr. Easy Knife, my knife and gear review channel. It's over there, I'll leave a link to it. I'll see you guys next time, take care.